ang paging makasarili natin, nawawala na mga tigre natin. Nawawala na mga tuna natin sa pagkamakasarili. Nawawala na mga bundok natin. No? That's why, because of this interrelatedness, there is, I like very much this uh, uh, part of Laudato Si, less is more. Less is more. Ang sinabi dito ni Pope Francis, Christian spirituality proposes a growth marked by moderation and the capacity to be happy with little. It is a return to that simplicity which allows us to stop and appreciate the small things. To be grateful for the opportunities which life affords us. To be spiritually detached from what we possess. And not to succumb to sadness for what we lack. This implies avoiding the dynamic of dominion and the mere accumulation of pleasures. This, uh, Paragraph 222 is worth analyzing word for word. Christian spirituality proposes a growth marked by moderation and capacity to be happy with this. A growth, yes, we have to grow, but mark with moderation, not grow at all cost. And this is what people think about progress. Do you want progress? Yes, you want progress, but not at all costs. And to be happy with little. You don't have to have many and much. Many food, oh, much loading. And in fact, we are, have the problem with many. That's why you have blood sugar problem. That's why you have cholesterol. This is a problem with many. That, that's why you have abuses, no, like alcohol abuse. Because of many, capacity to be happy with little. It is a return to that simplicity which allows us to stop and appreciate the small things. Appreciate the flower. Appreciate the human being. No, appreciate whatever you have, small things, which you can be, make you happy. No? To be grateful for the opportunities which life affords us. Whatever opportunity. Be grateful. Be grateful na kapunta kayo sa lasal. Be grateful na kapamasyal kayo. No? Be grateful for your health. You're able to walk. No? Kaya kung minsan na uh, I really enjoy walking because when you see the old people gaganyan-ganyan, no? siko dadating na na po dyan. <laughs> but now that I can walk, I'm happy that I can walk. Why should I ride? No. So the small things that we have, to be spiritually detached from what we possess, yan. we possess many things, but are you spiritually detached from them? How do you know that you're spiritually detached? <laughs> Kapag nawala na ang cellphone mo, okay lang ba sa'yo? No? Kapag nawala niyo yung damit mo, yung paborito mong pantalon, ang pila ba sa'yo? Yes. Kapag-link ka mo na lang na no. So, these things, the these things pass away. Sometimes, our life na nasira na buhay natin kasi nawala yung self-worth. And not to succumb to the sadness for what we lack. And so many people are sad kasi hindi sila nakapagpasyal sa Holy Land. No, they are sad kasi wala akong ganyan sasakyan. No, they are sad kasi wala akong ganyang libro. This implies avoiding the dynamic of dominion and the mere accumulation of pleasures. Our world is able to give us more opportunities for pleasure but not for joy. You go to many bars, you have pleasure, but not joy. And many people equate happiness with pleasure. But pleasure leaves you empty. Leaves you empty. 
So, maganda. Meditate over this. Less is more. At yan yung ituturo natin. Then it becomes more practical. No? Kaya very practical. Yung mga ganyan, but very challenging at the same time. No? Kaya nga sinabi nga ni Jesus, what profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? What can one give in exchange for his life? No? So, yan ang problema natin. That they able to destroy so many things. Ngayon, si Gina, kawawa naman. No? And I think you should bring up your disappointment. Lahat kayo lagay niyo sa Facebook. Nakakalungkol, kawawa. Nakakagulo yung mga congressmen na bibili pala. No, mahalaga pala yung pera kaysa pangalagaan ng environment. Anong change ang gusto niyo mangyari? Ayaw ng change. So, bring that in your Facebook. Wala tayo gagawa yun. Kakalat yun. We become part of public opinion. So, become part of public opinion. Create public opinion. Destruction of creation done in the name of profit progress and technology. Gary, oh. sinasabi na bibigay ng trabaho na yung mining. Anong klaseng trabaho? Kung konting trabaho na ibibigay niya. And kung trabaho na hindi sustainable kasi kapag mabubos yung bundok, wala nang trabaho. <laughs> yeah. And profit and technology. Just because it can be done. We have to realize that a true ecological approach always becomes a social approach. It must integrate questions of justice in debates of environment, so as to both hear the cry of the poor and the cry, the cry of the earth and the cry of the people. So, ang luha ng kalikasan ni luha ng mga mahi. And you cannot solve the problem of the environment without solving the problem of poverty. Kaya yung mga tao ay nasa tabi ng ilog at nadudumi ng ilog kasi wala silang tahanan. That's why people are destroying, uh, making charcoal, destroying the mountain because there is no job. So if you have, if you to take care of creation, take care of the poor. At the same time, by taking care of the poor, you take care of creation. So, magkapareho yan. No? For creation awaits with eager expectations the revelation of the children of God. This is coming from Romans. Creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it in hope. So in creation, there is this idea of futility. Parang wala tayong patutunguhan because it is subjected also in hope. That's why we are waiting. Creation is longing, is groaning. For the salvation of man. Because creation will not be saved. This man will not be saved. No. And then we continue. That creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. So salvation of man also is salvation of creation. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains, even until now. We can demand the aim of creation. And we can hear this groaning in uh, the typhoons that come. We can hear this groaning uh, in the cries of the birds without any place to nest. <coughs> and not only that, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we await for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. So here, it shows how connected we are with the rest of creation. 
while we are longing for salvation. Also, creation is longing for salvation. And we will be saved together with creation. Nag-aantay din sila ng salvation and if we are eager to save fellow human beings, we also save creation. And this is part of our commitment. Thank you very much.